this unanimous conclusion of the United States intelligence community. He took the word of the KGB over the men and women of the CIA. Rather than placing blame for what happened in 2016 on Russia where it belongs, the president had the goal to blame both countries for the troubled relationship. The president put what's best for him over what's best for the security and well-being of the United States. The question now looms, what, if anything, will Congress do in response to this awful trip? Where are our Republican colleagues? Where are the Republicans who roared approval when Reagan told Gorbachev to tear down the wall? Where are the Republicans who demanded a strong response when Putin annexed Crimea? Where are the Republicans who know in their heart the president is giving away the store to Vladimir Putin? So if you want to believe Schmucky Schumer here, the Eastern European reject, yeah, Schmucky, you're all irate that Putin and Trump are going to be good friends. And that we're not going to have to spend so much money on the nonsense and frivolity that we've been spending for 70 years since World War II. That pisses you off. You're not worried, though, about the apartheid in Israel. The 90% of Philistines displaced from their homes. And yeah, I called them Philistines because that's who they are. And they were there before the Jews. But that doesn't bother you. Now, you see, Schmucky, I'm pro-Israel. And I got to tell you, it offends me when I look at your hypocrisy. You were never irate about the Russians when they really were communists and KGB people. But you wonder why Trump and people like myself take issue with our crooked CIA and FBI. And then I'm not going to sit here and tell you that rank and file of the CIA and FBI aren't crooks. Because I don't know that. Here's what I know. They've been lying incessantly for the better part of 20 years. And since 9-11, this infection has been proven out. Snowden, all born out. No patriotic American wanted to believe that. They were spying on us. But guess what, schmucky? I know personally that they are. I got friends in the FBI, schmucky. Let me quote you on uh, the week after 9-11 at Yankee Stadium. When you had the balls to get out of a limo and hold your cell phone to your ear and chant, the 10th Mountain Division just landed in Afghanistan, you schmuck. And I almost tore your head off if it weren't for my two buddies that grabbed me. I said, what are you, a warmonger, Chucky boy? And you cowered like the scumbag weasel that you are and ran into the stadium with your cadre of security guards. Because you don't like guns, though, Chucky. If my two friends weren't with me, I might have tore your freaking ugly face right from your skull. You hypocrite. You were all up celebrating when Donald Trump put the embassy in Jerusalem. Yeah, you like that, though. And you want to bring up walls? You don't mind that the, the M13s are coming in. You're stipulating today about how Long Island's being left out of New York's economy. But you don't say a word about that. And Trump's trying to stop it at the point of origin. You douchebag. Do you know what that means? Like I would have stopped your ilk from coming into my country because you're a communist. Everything Joe McCarthy said about you and your ilk has been borne out. Every single accusation and I'll prove it line by line. But you want to take, let me tell you what galls you about Putin. He's a Christian, and he brought Russia back to Christ, and that is your issue. You can't stand that. As a typical secular rebellious heathen, you can't have it. You imbued with the spirit of Antichrist, see John 844. You can't have it, Mr. Pharisee, Mr. Sanhedrin. Let me help you out. Ready, Chucky? Crucify him! Crucify him! You remember that? Because anybody that comes in the name of righteousness for righteousness' sake offends you. 
viscerally because you are a son of your father, the devil. 844. Ever since I knew thee, thy was a rebellious people. Israel, pal, you fool no one. Chosen boy, you want to you wanna engage in rhetoric? Let's look at 3,000 years of history. Is the whole world insane? Has every nation that got fed up of your ilk all suffering from some psychopathic affliction? That they wake up one day having to remove you because you are anathema to your host? Parasite? You are incapable of seeing truth. You are devoid of honor. You are absolutely devoid of reason. You are the devil's child. And your hypocrisy is only exceeded by your insanity. Chucky boy. Chuck the schmuck. So you take issue with Trump. Is Brennan not corrupt? Is McCabe not corrupt? Strzok was not biased. Lisa Page is not a corrupt, biased broad in the FBI. The Clintons did not recruit these libtards from Stanford and Harvard 30 years ago. Are we not seeing what we see? What are we going to believe? What we see or your lying mouth? I'm going to give you a, a, a little knowledge, Chucky. There's a reason why the good Lord wanted your ilk circumcised. Because when it comes to mendacity, there's no end to you pricks.